uh, Legacy Garden and Leisure Shop or Centre. Uh, we here at the Mushroom Farm uh, here just off the Shungweli off ramp on the M13. Our shop has been open for probably the last week and it's been uh, fantastic. And for those of you who haven't met me, my name is Tim Levine and uh, I opened the uh, Legacy Bonsai experience by August last year. And uh, you may have seen the story on Facebook, uh, and you may have read it in the Crest magazine. The centre that we've opened uh, together with Gravida is, uh, is now run by uh, none other than uh, Vincent Dorenko Jr. And next to me I've got uh, Vincent Dorenko Sr., who was the founder of Gravida. So uh, I've decided to get him in and do some video shoots with him. I think as the founder of Gravida and maybe the starter, what, in about 1980, uh, of the Gravida brand. I wanted to get some of the stuff and some of the experiences on video. So uh, Vince, welcome to my, my shop and uh, I'm really glad to have you and uh, hopefully over the next couple of videos we can talk about some of the magic potions that you put together over a couple of years. I wasn't employed so I had to find something to do and I told my wife I'd, I'd like to do this. I found the gap having come from a farming background um, I saw the scope in the Woody Castle field. Um, we, we were initially weren't strong enough to go into the agriculture, so we started with um, with the Woody Castle. I think basically we started with the, the basics of compost and potting soils and mediums and things like that. Where does the Vida name come from? I mean, I know you're Portuguese, but yes. where does the Vida come Well, from? yes, the name Portuguese Vida means life. And I sort of like that word. And, uh, and coincidentally, um, my name is Vincent V.I. And David was my bookkeeper. So uh, we put those two words together and we said so Vida was good. But we never got to ultimately get the name of Vida. So we merely added the, the GRO, the grow, in front of the grow. Hopefully people call us grow feeders. But anyway, it just grow Vida. And that's how the name came about. I think you guys are Google, you know, you've got Google issues in your mind. You can Google anything to do with roses, anything to do with tibias. Um, how did you get into developing the products that you have? We did everything very basically, you know. We came from the, um, the organic side of it, and then we slowly learned the technical sides, and we found the nutri neutrology and the nu nutritional ways, and um, we put it all together and found that seemed to work very well for us. Best selling lawn uh, or weed killer is called Springbok. Uh, you registered that name? Oh, no, no, we in the house. <laughs> Springbok is, is based on glyphosate, which is uh, a very interesting product. Um, I don't know originally how it came about, but it, I, think, I think that was also someone told me they were formulating a soap or something, and they, they it started off somehow like that. And um, Springbok came about, or Springbok glyphosate. Or, it's now known and registered under various names and uh, certainly is probably the most sell, sold herbicide throughout the world. Um, it's very specific and, and it's very, um, very popular. So we're going to do some, some short videos on, on some of the diseases and some of the issues and I, I think it's, it's worthwhile keeping the legacy uh, of, of the 1980s and some of the stuff that you did on video. And uh, I thank you for spending some time with me in the shop and hopefully we'll keep the Gravina name going on forever.